Hi planners, thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use this tab maker from We Are Memory Keepers. I picked this tab maker up from Hobby Lobby and I had a lot of folks ask me about how to use it after I showed it in my binder setup video. You can check out that video in the cards. And in that video, I showed how I use tabs to separate different sections in my binder. So I didn't wanna leave anyone hanging and I wanted to follow up with this review on how to create the tabs with the tab maker. Make sure you like the video to show my channel some support. Comment below if you enjoy this review and then also make sure you go ahead and subscribe. When you subscribe to my channel, it helps me out a lot and you can find that subscribe button right here in the bottom right corner. It's a little red button. Go ahead and click that subscribe and turn your notifications on. Let's get right into it. Okay, so to make these tabs, you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need a tab maker, obviously. So I got this from Hobby Lobby. I did put the link in my description below and I will explicitly state that I'm this is the tab maker link. And then um, I have these tab stickers and I will link those below as well. And I'll show you why I need both of them in a few minutes. You'll also need either to write on the tab or print out what you want the tab to say with a printer. So you can either write what you want on it, right, with pen, or you can print it out. You can also use label stickers kind of like this to label your tab. You also are going to need some type of credit card or gift card. And then last but certainly not least, you need paper. So you'll need some paper. You can also use some type of card stock. And if you still have dividers from old planners, I think this is a great way to upcycle and use that paper because it's really thick. And I think it would be great to use the paper from your dividers if you have some. So if you have an old planner, you can rip out the divider and you can use this for this project. You can also purchase card stock paper from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or any of those places. And they come in small books and big books. I'll link some below because I don't have any right now, but you can definitely use card stock as well. I would suggest using thicker paper than just computer paper, but you can totally use computer paper if you want to. So there are two ways you can create these tabs. One way is with it being connected in the middle here and you see it just folds over. That's one way you can create the tab. Another way is you can punch where it has two different pieces to it like this. I like to do it this way. It just becomes easier for me when it's time to affix the tab onto whatever I'm using, but you can do it this way as well with the two pieces. I prefer it to be connected. First, you're gonna go ahead and cut a piece of paper with these dimensions. I went ahead and measured it for you. So it's two and a half inches long and three and a half inches wide. After you measure how big your piece of paper is going to be, I went ahead and outlined the piece of paper I previously cut, but you can just measure it. Then you're gonna go ahead and cut out the piece of paper that you'll use to create the tab. Now that I have the piece of paper cut out and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and fold it in half. So you can either score it if you have a scorer. If you don't, you can go ahead and fold it in half very neatly. And then you can take your credit card that I told you to, to use just to um, make sure it's really flat. And if you're using cardstock or some type of thick paper like this, you definitely may need some reinforcements with making sure that it's nice and flat. Now's the fun part. You're gonna go ahead and get your tab punch and you are going to flip it over. Then you're going to pull back this part. This keeps the tab from falling out when you punch it, but you're gonna pull it back so that we can see the tab inside. So I'm gonna turn it around this way, this kind of facing up. And I'm going to make the open side at the bottom and the folded side at the top. And I'm gonna slide it inside of this punch. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but I have just a little bit of space at the very top of the tab. See that little bit of space? That space is gonna make it so that it's connected. If I were to move this up, then it would just cut. 
but we don't want it to cut the entire thing. We want to leave a little bit of space at the top so that when we cut it, it's still connected like this one. If I move it up and I punch it here, then it will be two different pieces of paper like this, okay? And for me, I want it to be still connected like this. So I'm going to move this down some. like so i'm going to close this little door here and i'm going to punch it now you can turn it on the other side but me it's not that hard to punch typically so i'm just going to punch it now i'm going to pull out this piece of paper and take my tab out look how perfectly it punched the tab so now that I have my tab, what's next? I can use a label sticker. This says organize the stuffs. I got it from a sticker shop called Twin 16 on Etsy, but you may have a sticker that says home or school or work or whatever. You might have a, a label that says something more specific than this. I don't, so I went ahead and I decided these might be nice for this little tab. If you have an Erin Condren notebook, you also get these stickers in the back of each notebook. And so I was thinking that this might be a cool little project to use these stickers. If you have an Erin Condren notebook or a planner, you have something similar to this in the back. And so you could take these stickers and you could apply it to the tab. See how it kind of fits? You might have to cut it down just a tad bit, but you can actually put one of these stickers on the tab if you wanted to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the sticker just because I think that will look more neat and it would be easier for me. Just a tip, it is easier to use the tabs when you have the same exact thing on both sides. But because I want to show you how the different ways you can do your tab, I'm going to go ahead and write on my tab on the other side. Even though typically I will put the same exact thing on both sides so you can see it whether the tab is facing this way or facing this way. For sake of demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and put January. As you can see, nothing spectacular about that, but you can definitely write on the other side if you want to. Now, I'm gonna show you what I'll be using this tab for. I'm going to put this tab inside of my petite planner. Now, when I did it in my video, I did it on a binder so if you want to see that go ahead and click the link in the cards or watch it after you watch this video because you can see how i use the tab there now i'm going to show you how i want it so i kind of want this tab to stick out a little because these planners don't have tabs on them i want the tab to stick out just a little bit right here so what i'm going to do is get my tab stickers here and peel one of them off so you peel this tab sticker off of the sheet. It's kind of hard to see, but it is perforated for you to peel up. And it's sticky, but it's also laminated. This is a really thick material. It's like a lamination. And that's the whole point of the tab sticker, to laminate and stick this to your actual planner. So I'm going to go ahead and line up the tab the best I can with the middle area there. All right, and now that it is stuck on the wording, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around and try to bend it some. Now, of course, you don't want these two pieces to stick to each other. You want that to stay open, but you do need to bend it some before you stick it down because otherwise it's such a strong material that it'll just open back up even though it's sticky. So I'm gonna take my card again and I'm just going to press down on that part. Now this won't be needed if you do the two separate pieces of paper. Let me put that out there. I like doing it this way, but if you would rather do two pieces of paper, punch it where the two pieces of paper come out, okay? And then you would put one piece of paper on one side and it would stick. And you put one piece of paper on the other side and it would stick. And you wouldn't have to worry about the fact that the middle is a kind of stronghold going on there. So. Just showing you there's more than one way to do it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick this label right here.
I'm gonna make sure that I take my gift card again and make sure that it is rubbed down. And you can use like a ruler, something too. There's always more than one way. All right. So now that I feel like it's pretty sealed, I am done with my tab. Of course, this tab can stick out more than this. I just didn't want to make it stick out too much because for me, I can see the tab very easily from this view and go to it very easily. But for some people, they may want the tab to stick out all the way. And that's fine. There's no wrong way to do it. You can definitely have the tab stick all the way out if you want it that way. Now that I have the tab on there, what I would do is I would go ahead and cut out another square from this section, that section, and create more tabs for each section with this one divider. So you can see how you can use dividers and different paper that you may have laying around that may have a pretty design on it to create tabs. You just wanna make sure the paper's not too thick because then it won't bend well. Um, but if you, again, you don't have to bend it. If you create it with these two pieces, you don't have to worry about that because it won't be, anything here keeping it but trying to open it back up um but it works pretty well this way too i like it this way but again if you want to do two separate pieces of paper and punch it that way that is totally an option and what i like about this is that you don't even need these tab stickers what you could do is if you want to go ahead and punch the tab like this you could take a tombow permanent adhesive or some type of tape runner or glue even you could use a glue stick okay and you could just Put the adhesive or glue stick on one side and then put it on the other side. And once you have the adhesive on there, it'll stick to whatever you choose. So I'll use this as an example. I could go ahead and stick this tab on this piece of paper. And it's not laminated, so it's not gonna last a long time. But when you think about it, when I'm using this planner, it's only for three months. So I could see this lasting for three months. You just gotta make sure you glue down those edges really good and make sure you glue it and you know you could draw on it, write on it, whatever you want. So this tab could be created this way too without the adhesive, but this makes it last longer. It's thick, it's a nice material and I think it's really worth it. So that is how I did my tabs with the Memory Keeper tab punch. I really enjoy making different tabs. Again, please watch my binder video if you haven't already. So you can see how I made those tabs. It was a lot more setup in that video so you can really see how these tabs are created. And if you don't have this punch, don't worry. I put the links in the description below. And if you are not looking to purchase one, don't worry. I made a video on how to make tabs without a tab punch. So I did go ahead and make a video a little while back and the video shows you how to make tabs without a punch. You don't need a punch. All you need is scissors and paper and I will show you how to make tabs yourself without this. So go ahead and check out that video in the cards as well and in the description below. If you have any questions about this, please ask in the comments below. I will answer them as best I can. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy making tabs, setting up your planner. Tell me all about it in the comments. I'm looking forward to reading them and I will see you all in the next video.